Okay, here we are. We're fresh off the one runway. I yeah. wish. Whatever. I mean, I don't know anything about fashion. My sister dresses me up when I want to look nice. Felicia's classy, dresses nice, whatever. I mean, look at me with my sweater with a hole in it. I mean, whatever. It's black. It's thinning. I'll wear it. <laughs> <laughs> I can pull it together if it's Troy's one year, you know, every once a year we go to the Christmas party for his work or whatever. When I have to, I can pull it together. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I'm like, just whatever. Fade in, fade in. I look okay. Before before the break, we were talking about Michelle's daughter, and I was like, so did you force her into the pageants? And at one point in time, she wanted to do them. When she was done, you're like, okay, you're done, whatever. Right. And then she figured out, like, okay. There's money was, in this. Yeah, there's money. And whenever Absolutely. I'm first runner-up at Heron Fest, I get the money and get to go home. But whenever I won, I had to be there. You said till the last dog died every exactly. night. Exactly. Yeah, because it is. I mean, you have to make a lot of appearances. You have to smile in the parade. You got to be around the drunks. You got to be around the bocce ball. You got to be around the concerts. You got to be around. Jim Gentile is your best friend. Yeah, Jim Gentile when his green suit's ready Love to rock Jim. and roll. Oh, he's always got the pageant girls uh, hounding him. Abs, he loves them. Oh yeah, he does. He, he sure loves does. those pageant girls. Keeps him young. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet. So, you guys have a lot of uh, nieces and granddaughters in the family, so... I don't have any grand... I well, don't you, have yeah. any, but yeah. yes. Michelle's I not a grandma nieces. yet. Not don't yet. let me misquote that. But your sisters and your brother have a lot of girls. Yes. And so, of course, they're coming to you for homecoming and prom and stuff. But right. do you feel like maybe any of them are, like, looking into that? Or don't they just all think Nikki's great and just want they to be like Aunt Nikki? think Nikki's great. Hallie, I think, is definitely considering it. I think Hallie and Mallory did some pageants when she was little, little, little. Aww. She did some pageants then. But I, again, I don't push it. You're not because, like, okay, everybody, here's the deal. No. Okay. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. You have, the girl, the person has to want to do a pageant. Now, you guys just had the bridal show, right? Right. Now, do you corral the family for that? Be like, okay, you're going to be in a dress. You're I gonna be did this. use Chelsea and Taylor and Jordan. Because, okay, cool. Yeah, I did use them. And and I don't always see that. And we use some of the little girls. Um, it just depends. Honestly, you put the dresses that you have in the store at the time. And so the sizes, you end up having right. to find the size for the dress that you want to show I in the see. show. And we're carrying the Disney collection. So we're the only store in the area that has the Disney collection from Alfred Angelo. Oh, wow. And the dresses are literally named after the Disney princess. There's Ariel and you know, Jasmine, different dresses. So we tried to find girls that were those sizes so I that we see. could show those dresses. And the and that bridal show, gosh, it keeps it's getting... It's huge. I think there were huge. almost 500 brides there this okay, year. Okay, so, and Michelle's doing all this wonderful thing. She's coaching people from all over the nation. But locally, it's almost prom time. Right. Brides are looking for dresses all year round. I'll never forget whenever my sister came to get her uh, bridal gown from yes. you. She came. We found it. Didn't once she it, have one with pants under it? No, it? you're going to die. Listen to what happened. She had just got a spray tan. Okay. And she wanted to try it on because for her fitting. And we got in there and I was like, uh, put on the brake, sister. You just got spray tan. I said, we're not leaving here till we try this dress on you. I got the plastic dress bag, <laughs> shimmied her into it, and she looked like a big like condom or something. And then we put the dress over it and made sure it fit, and then we shimmied her out of it. I, I wasn't leaving. I mean, it didn't matter. My mom's like, I don't know. I mean, this is a lot of money to be playing around with. And I'm like, put the dress on her now. But my mom got her dress there. Mm-hmm. My sister got her dress We can do the whole there. wedding party. I mean, the people got their tuxes there. We might have lost a couple, but we found them. I right. mean, it got crazy over at, like, Coca-Cola right. after, like, 11 o'clock at night. But for prom, and like we talked about before, listen, girls, don't be scared of Michelle. And don't be scared of Joyce's. Just because she's coaching pageant girls doesn't mean you have to be a size zero pageant girl to come in there. Your prom and get your dress, dress, you're not judged in your prom dress. Your prom dress should be the dress that you like, that right. you feel comfortable in, that you want to wear. And I always wanted people and to so tell me, like, gown. you don't look good. Like, I want to know, like, right. that one looks so pretty on you, and mm, not so much that one doesn't. Right. Sorry. And I do, I have a mixture of different ages of girls. Um, and I've heard people say, well, they're all thin, but those are the girls that apply for jobs. Right, right, uh, you, right. You hire who applies for jobs, and our, our turnover. So you're not like, okay, do you eat a piece of broccoli? You're absolutely hired. Absolutely not. In fact, yeah. I just went today and bought all the food for the back room for them to eat because we're right. so busy on Saturdays. They don't have time for lunch. So it's not that I starve them. I provide food for no. them. <laughs> they just don't have very much time to get back there and eat it. So it has been, our prom kickoff is the same weekend as the bridal show every well, and year. And you know, everybody's worst fear is showing up with the same dress as somebody else. And How do we, you guys work that? We track the dresses, but what girls don't understand is a very popular Sherry Hill is going to be sold at other stores. Okay. So we can track it and we can only sell it once. But if 
that because, happened to me. But if your best friend goes to another store in Paducah, okay. then they can show up in the same dress. So what can happen? Just and have better can, accessories and, and better hair. And we can't it. be the dress police. Right. You know, if we sell it to a girl for one prom and she goes to a second prom, we right. can't stop her from so doing that. So within your store, you know what's what and who's who we and know who's who, got what. Exactly. But if exactly. you go down the road, they may get the exactly. same thing. Exactly. So that's why it That helps. happened to me. If all the girls would Ooh, just man. all come to Joyce's. And buy all of their dresses there, then they would never see their dresses. You'll never again. have a double. Absolutely. So it's not a big deal. Absolutely. You won't see double if you bring all of your friends and you all come to Joyce. See, no big deal. Absolutely. Oh, and also, I wanted to tell people to go like your page, and it's sure. set up on Facebook The Pageant Room. The Pageant Room. And you guys are just a but few if you do away Joyce's from 2000. Boutique or the Pageant Room. Yeah, Samantha does that, and she's really good at that. She loves the articulation of things she likes the is she analytical absolutely numbers and figures and oh and lists and and she writes really pretty she hates for me to write anything she doesn't even like for me to write out a ticket i love samantha's she humor she has because a lot of people have a misconception of her too yeah she is she's like i mean <laughs> yeah whatever very dry. And i'm like is she mad they're like no she's that's her joke she's yeah, joking that's her isn't no, that funny no that's samantha to yeah. each his own yeah, we're totally different. I mean, I love people. I love to work with the people. So you want to chit chat and I love communicate? Yes. yes, she drags me through market. You know, you go to market and then all the different people are trying to get you in their showroom. And she'll say, come on, mom, let's go. I mean, she literally, she doesn't call me mom. She calls me Michelle. Oh, because nah. of the store. Because how many moms are in the store at okay, one time? Okay, there's five million. So if Everybody's she says with mom, mom, every person turns and looks. <laughs> hey, and so Michelle. she calls me Michelle. And she's carried that over into our real life. So it's, come on, Michelle, let's go. Let's go, Michelle. I love it. So she literally drags me out. I, I said, love it. Why do you talk to everybody? Okay, so what do you think about the little bitty five-year-olds with their flippers on and their gaudy makeup and all that? Teeny tiny babies in the pageants. Yes or no? I think if it's a little baby and it's just mom carrying them out and they're in a cute little that's dress, okay. that's fine. But I. Think what do you think about the uh, prostitute? I don't. Do you know what I'm talking yes, about when I say prostitute? Yeah, I mean when they dress them up like. Pretty woman in the boots I and all. It's cute. It's Unless cute. the pedophile dads are there. But that's just it. With the internet now, with YouTube, I mean, no. Listen, ev they're for, everywhere. For those of you that don't know what I'm referring to when I say prostitute, uh, there was a mom. I think it was what was her name? Eden Betty. I'm not sure. There's. Oh no no no! I think that's somebody from like yeah, Johnson no, City. Eden okay. Woods was is a pageant girl. Eden she Woods. was the one that did Cutie Patootie. Okay, she did Cutie Patootie. There was a mother that dressed her daughter up like pretty uh, woman. Pretty woman. The boots, the skirt. I mean, the leather skirt and right. all that. And it was cute, but it was questionable. And then yeah. they started calling her prostitute. There are some girls, you can tell, I mean, I can tell. As a mother, I can tell. There's a couple little bitty girls that they are ready for it. They mm -hmm. want it. They, they want to do it. They thrive like off that it. attention in the stage. But then there's some that are crying and they're like pouring the right. sexy sticks down their throat. And I'm like, you guys are insane. It's no different than a father making his son play baseball. Absolutely. It's no different. And they if the really, child wants to do it and they enjoy it, then let them do it. And, and if they, they don't rag want those to, moms for the pageants. But right. you know the people that are out, do it again, suck it up on right. the baseball field. And I'm like, y'all are just mm -hmm. as crazy as these yeah, pageant it's, moms. It's the same thing. It's all like it's, the flipper it's and the It's all in what you like to do. It is. And what you're good at. Well, and then, and I'm not stereotyping some of the people I've seen on TV. Yes, I am. But it's like, well, we spent $45,000 this year on the pageant. I we think don't if work. you have to mortgage your house to pay for your pageant. So keep it realistic. Absolutely. You're never, well, I can't say never. Nikki actually paid for her college through the pageants that she That's did. That's awesome. She actually did do that. And some girls do that. And she's actually them, made a living off of all Off this. of her looks. She has. But for the most part, you are going to spend more money doing it than you ever get back. But isn't that the same way with baseball, with football, with yeah, soccer, with swimming? Yeah. I mean, it, it's a hobby. It's a pastime. It's something that you enjoy doing. If you're good at it, it is. if you get something out of it, then it's worth doing. And I think with pageants, and it's just like baseball, you learn life lessons from you those do. things. You learn that it's not always fair. You learn that everybody isn't nice. Team players, You learn a lot of different things from it. So what do you think about Honey Boo Boo? Um, have you seen it? I can't I stop watching it. I, I'll listen. I watch it and I can't help it and I can't turn it off. Um, well, I think we're a voyeuristic society. We are. And, we and like. I think that a lot of people, even in Marion, think that we are like Hotsy Tazi when I mean we're I mean, we really aren't too far off Honey Boo Boo anyway. No, I mean 
No, we do. Some What's the, the difference? Things. We're riding. My brother once owned a pot belly pig <laughs> in his apartment. <laughs> Absolutely. Darren Holmes owns pigs. Darren has done. <laughs> yes, Darren's owned a lot of different things <laughs> in yeah. his day. Yes, he has. <laughs> but yeah, so no, I mean. But I mean, I, honestly, I don't feel like that mom's like exploiting her child. I mean, her little girl's hilarious. And like they gave Glitzy back because, I mean, it needed to go back to like the oh, breed or whatever. See, I don't watch it consistently. I have seen it. That's just it. I have to see a lot of things. I have to read the books that the teenagers are reading. I have to know, you know, when it was the hills. Yeah, how I do you keep up? Hills. I I do that. I, I read rather quickly. So I literally read the whole Twilight series. I read... You know, vampire diaries, all of those things. So I know because when you're, you're coaching, they're going to be asking questions well, about training. Well, and I have to prepare them for interviews. So I have to prepare. I have to know if they're Team Jacob or Team Edward. I have to know what that is. What do you think about some of the girls that get asked the questions? They're like the vernacular of the, and I think the, and the, that lack of preparation. Do because, you cringe when you see those people doing oh, the ridiculous answers? Oh, absolutely, because it gives us a bad name. That girl should have never made it to that point in the pageant. There went an hour. I'm so mad. We could have talked forever. Okay, so listen. You've got to go to Michelle's page. It's the pageant room slash Joyce's Boutique. Joyce's Boutique. They're just a few likes away from 2000, so please show them some support, local business. If you're getting married, if you're going to prom, if you're going to homecoming, if you're going out and just want to look nice for a night. Or want to do a pageant. Or you want to do a pageant, get a hold of Michelle. What's your guys' website? Pageantroom.com. The pageantroom.com pageant uh -huh. or the? Pageantroom.com. Pageantroom.com. And they have a new facility right out by the Williamson County Airport. Airport. Check them out. Thank you so much for coming out of blast. Thank you. Have a good night. See you, see you next Friday. Monica, thanks for having me on the show. It was pretty painless. Um, I really had a good time. I'd love to come back and talk to you again about the things we thought we were going to talk about that we didn't get to. And um, definitely send everyone to our Facebook, The Pageant Room and Joyce's Boutique. Like our page. You'll know about our sales, the different promotions that we have, style shows. And come visit us in our new location. We're directly in front of the Williamson County Airport in Marion, Illinois. Hope to see you there. It affects everyone differently, and it's everyone's point of view. It's more than a talk show. It's a reality check. It's Reality Check with Monica Zubis.